All righty, I got a little bit of a different setup. I'm on a little mini vacation in Fargo. Girlfriend's got a conference, so here I am. And tonight I went on a hunt for cards, and I think Fargo is the worst place in the world to buy baseball cards. I went to a Walmart, and they literally had nothing besides like Magic the Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh. Nothing. I went to Target. Very little that, I mean, very little for a Target. Targets are usually well stocked. Then I went to Walgreens, not a single uh, Fairfield pack or pharmacy pack or anything. Went to a Casey's, they had no cards. Went to two more Casey's, another Walmart, and nothing. I finally actually went to the mall and got these two places. The card shop in the mall is not great, but this is 2018 Optic. I'll get to this in a minute. And uh, there really wasn't much else to buy there even. Tomorrow I'm going to try out some place I didn't get to tonight and I'll have a little more luck. But I finally found a Casey's. I walk in and they have the feeder box of 2018 Series 2. And I was so excited, but there was nothing in it. There was actually packs in it, but I looked through it. And it was all opening day, which sucks. Uh, I would have bought every single pack if it had been 2018. But I did buy a 2019 update. Fat pack and two um, regular packs of Series 1 from 2018. Best cards there were this Thurman Munson short print. That's 2019 update. And then from 2018, the Jose Canseco 83. And then a Miguel Andujar rookie card. Be interesting to see what happens with Andujar as he comes back because Urshela was so good. But maybe they'll trade him. I don't know. I liked him. Thought he should have won the rookie of the year in the American League in 2018. Now, Optic. I got two blasters I'm gonna open. There's 24 cards. Optic, I opened up um, 2019. It's basically like the Panini version of Chrome. They're shiny cards and uh, a little more expensive than just buying regular. 2018, you get lucky and find maybe an Acuna. That's obviously what we want. But uh, we'll see. I know I haven't opened up this particularly on camera, but I have opened up some of this. And the thing I hate about any optic or even chrome is that they're always bent. I don't know if you can really see, but they're always kind of like curled. And it's annoying. But no one, Arenado. I was at school today and I seen that some stuff on YouTube that maybe he's going to be shipped be great if the Yankees get him. Here's a parallel, a pink parallel of Anthony Rizzo. I'd like to get a relic. It's been a while since I pulled anything good out of uh, really of anything. Manny Margot, John Gray. Ooh, Diamond King, Salvador Perez, pink parallel. I like this card. Let me give that away. I was even going to do some football. But I didn't find any even clearance football, so tomorrow maybe I will, and I can uh, do a video with that. Hopefully some of the uh, students who are more into football will like that. Here's a Nolan Ryan. Chris Archer. Old school player here, Joe Morgan, Hall of Fame second baseman, and Tyler O'Neill, rookie. The uh, Hall of Fame, I don't know exactly what day they vote, but it's coming up. Jeter's going to get in. Um, there's a couple other guys that might. Somebody was saying today, Larry Walker, maybe. Uh, I'll be really mad if Jeter doesn't get 100% of the votes because if Jeter's not a Hall of Famer, then I don't know who is. But somebody out there would probably not vote for him, and they won't have any good reason. Ryan Braun, Med Rosario, and George Brett. It's crazy to think that you know, Rivera was the first guy to get 100% that somebody looked at Willie Mays and said, nope, not a Hall of Famer. Okay, this is a some kind of insert. Looking back, and you can see it's got Chris Sale and Roger Clemens in the background there creeping. Uh, that's a nice looking card. I like that. Some inserts are, nobody really chases inserts like they used to, but they are still. Sometimes you're more entertaining car cards Robles and Josh Bell is the uh, is the pink parallel parallel it's got a different border um, none of those are numbered though they're just normal I think there's uh, it says there's six average per box so nothing special to uh, to get those pink parallels 
Corey Kluber, who obviously was traded. Soft season, Robinson Cano. Here's a good looking card. All starts, Cody Bellinger. And that's just an insert, it's not numbered or anything. Still a nice looking card. And Reese Hoskins, who had a terrible second year. I got another one of these. These were, uh, you know, originally 20 bucks, like all blaster boxes, but I think I got them for 17 a piece, which is maybe still expensive, but I was uh, pretty desperate to get something tonight to open. I didn't bring anything with. Verlander, Justin Turner. I'm always talking about YouTube clips. Justin Turner played for Cal State Fortune, I believe, and he got hit in the face uh, during the Cal World Series one year. You could probably go ahead and look that up and find that. Here's the guy that's going to bounce back and hopefully be in the Yankees rotation this year. Jordan Montgomery parallel. He's a big lefty, pretty crafty. Kind of pitches like Andy Pettit. And I think the Yankees should slot him into the fifth spot. Uh, Herman, I saw, is suspended for 63 games. I think the best thing to do with Herman is probably put him in the bullpen. He's got really good stuff. Changeup is filthy. Slider's good. And I think that he'd be nice to have in the bullpen. And if you need him to start a game here and there, he can. Jerry Votto, Diamond Kings. The Mick, New York Yankees. This is a pink parallel. Um, this must be some kind of variation. Unlike Tops, oops, unlike Tops, Panini does not have like the numbers where you can just check the code. But it's got to be some kind of variation because it's got. A nickname and that's a lot of times what you see on these optic or these panini products clint frazier rookie i don't know what the yankees are ever gonna do with clint frazier because he's good enough to uh play for almost every major league team in the outfield or dh uh, he's not a good defensive outfielder but the yankees just they need to either trade him or give him a chance because they're kind of screwing him over, screwing him over i don't like this setup see on the camera you can just see my hairy wrist uh Opening packs the whole time, which is ugly. Here's an old school player, Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer. Carlos Correa, Ian Happ, and then this card is another All-Stars card, and it's Bellinger. But I like this one better than, uh, what was the other one? That pink one? Let me check and, and try to find that other card. Same card, different uh, background. Neither of them numbered. I kind of like this one better than the pink one. I'm actually not really uh, crazy about the pink parallels at all. If they were gold, or obviously they're not going to be gold necessarily, but I really don't like the pink. Goldschmidt, back with Arizona. Cal Ripken. Kippy Crawford, and here's an old Hall of Famer, 500 home run guy, Eddie Matthews. Hit 512 home runs. I'm going to uh, search a lot of different places tomorrow. I got a card shop I want to go check out in uh, Moorhead that I go to quite often. Kirby Puckett, Hall of Famer, Joey Votto. Might be someday. His numbers are really good. He's a career 13, three, uh, 13 hitter. He's going to end up with close to 400 home runs. So he might get in. Chipper Jones is in the Hall of Fame. and Rookie Tyler Wade. I got one pack left. Still nothing numbered. Still no relic. Kind of a disappointing night for, uh, for cards in general. But... That's the way it goes sometimes. Joey Gallo, Salvador, Jose Batista. What? He's still in this? Well, there's the best card. Clever Torres, rated rookie. And uh, this is uh, something I'm not seeing on the other cards. Is that he's got his uh, a hashtag there. I'm going to check this out, see if it's uh, some kind of variation or what exactly it is. So that's 2018 uh, Panini Optic. I guess the one rookie I got that is a hot one is uh, the one at the end.
Some of the uh, Diamond Kings and the Bellinger cards are pretty cool. Um, I guess I, I'm not going to go out and buy a bunch of 2018 optics, but it was alright. And uh, tomorrow, hopefully, I can come back with uh, get a few other things and get them on camera. Maybe even do football. There's football playoffs on tomorrow. The NFL starts. Good luck to uh, everybody but the Vikings. And thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe. Do so. Drop a comment if you uh, if I missed anything. Like, share, all those things. Get these videos out there. And I hope you enjoy. I hope you come back and watch some more. And I hope to see you again.